long before they get to West London. He's the mayor of London with a growing interest in Kent and Essex. Boris Johnson once again pushing for an airport in the Thames estuary, accusing the government of dragging its feet over expansion. How many runways are we proposing to build in the whole of this country, let alone the south east of England? How many? None. Zero. Today, Boris also included Stansted in the equation whilst continuing to reject a third runway at Heathrow. They are Stansted and the two models in the estuary. We will now work to show how those proposals can be made to deliver. Boris Johnson is on a major collision course with the government and Tory MPs over his plans. There's so many people look at his uh, Thames estuary proposals and determine that they just don't make sense, that they're pie in the sky, that they're ridiculously expensive, and you're going to have to move a power station, a gas import terminal, and, and huge amounts of infrastructure here on the Hoo Peninsula. It just makes no sense. Time and time again, his proposals have been criticised. The Department of Transport has no plans for a new airport in the Thames estuary. He has enough regeneration challenges in London without um, wanting to dump his rubbish on the rest of the country. It would be devastating for those habitat areas. It would be devastating for the wildlife that occupy them. So why bother with his big vision for the Thames estuary, which is unlikely to ever take off? Well, Boris Johnson is seen as a possible successor to David Cameron, and airport expansion is likely to be a major issue at the next general election. Is Boris therefore planning ahead by carving out a bigger and more prominent political role? Tom Savides for Meridian Tonight. Great, great difficulty, mind you, against massive opposition in Sussex. Long before they get to West London, he's the mayor of London with.